Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Today we are going to attempt butterfly locks on paisleys and I'm doing a no wrap method. So they're crochet in, but they look just as good. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, you can click the button right here to do that. Make sure you're following along and let's try the locks. I have decided, I've seen it done a lot of different ways. I know you can wrap your own locks. I personally think that seems like it's really time consuming and I wanted to try a little bit different method where you crochet the locks in that I've seen that looked honestly amazing. All, like literally just as good. And so we're gonna try that and hope it turns out. Okay, this is the hair I'm using today. This is just what they had at the beauty supply store. I actually wish they had it in the 16 inch, but they were out of it. So I got the 12 inch. It was either that or really, really long and I didn't want that either. So this is what we're going with today. It was kind of expensive at the beauty supply store. I'll check the price on Amazon and let you know which one's cheaper. Okay, so this is what we're starting with. Last night I completely did her wash routine and I didn't want to do heat drying last night. So I banded it so that I could stretch her hair. So we've got a really nice stretch. I'm gonna take these out and then that's what we're starting with. Okay, so I pulled out all of the banding and this is what we have, really nice stretched hair and we're ready to start. Okay, here is step one. I have basically parted her hair into four quadrants. So four pretty much even sections. I took it from the center part all the way down to just about the tip of her ear, just slightly behind her ears. This is always the slowest, I feel like, and my most challenging part, and that's parting. Okay. So we did those four quadrants I showed you before, but then I basically turned each quadrant, so this is one right here, into four subsections. So here's another one. Can you see that? And another here, and another here. So what we're gonna do is end up, we're gonna take the pieces that we work on up here, and we're gonna pull them back into cornrows in the back when we're done. But this completed just makes my job a lot easier and faster from this point on. Okay guys, so all of those sections I showed you before, this is what they turn into. So basically I subdivided each of those sections. I did two here, three here, four here, and the next one will be four as well. And then in that section start a small braid that I feed into another section of braid another braid, another braid. And instead of doing a cornrow, I did the braids because I wanted it to still keep the box shape. So when we put the crochets in, it leaves that box shape underneath. So I'll show you on this top one. So you can see I have this parted and it's just basically like, just literally a three strand braid. So braiding. And I'm just gonna do like three or four stitches like this. You can see the gel in her hair. And when I get to a point where I think it will reach the next section, I go back here and I divide this into three strands as well. Like this. And then I pick these back up and put them in. This one, middle, this one on the side, and then smooth them down really tight this and you can see it just feeds into the next section. Okay, update. We are now watching the video Dyer movie. Last dragon. But you can see where this has now turned in. So I started here, turned it into a cornrow, went down, pulled that end up, started the next cornrow, and I'm just weaving those ends into the cornrows as I go. Now I'm halfway, so uh, we're gonna finish the other half. adding fake hair? We will in a minute, but we have to finish all the cornrows first. How do you like it so far, Pace? I didn't get to see it. You haven't seen it yet? No. We'll surprise you at the end. <laughs> no, I wanna know now. Okay, so this is my last one. And you can see where this braid ended, and now I'm just starting to feed it in to this braid right here, and I'm gonna just make a cornrow. So I know that was hard to see, but essentially you're just transitioning it from a braid to a cornrow. When I get to right the next stitch, probably. On this side, I'm picking up this end of this braid and I'm just gonna feed it in here too. So now that braid comes in. Continuing to feed in. 
camera as we go. Pick up hair. All the way down. And so you can see we just kept adding in, adding in, adding in. We're all the way at this end. And when I get finished, I'll just take this and weave it in right here and it'll be placed. Okay, we are done to this point. You can see it's all braided yeah. up. Now it's time to add in the hair. Okay, we're halfway done. How you doing, Pace? Good, I wanna it's leave it like this. And we're all it's getting cute. tired. So it's I'm time not. to be done. So each of these little um, locks has a hook at the top like this. And then we have our crochet needle. And you just take it and you put it under under the hair like this, and then pull it back through. Easy, guys. And then I take it back through and grab the end like this. Oop, oop. And then pull it tight. And then pull through, huh? Mm -hmm. That just helps pull it through. And then you tighten it down like this, and it sits in place. And then you repeat like a thousand times. <laughs> a lot, huh, Paisy? A little bit. Okay, a long last. Turn, let me see, spin. All the way around. And then the fun part is, because we did the box parts, she can flip like that, or we can pull it up. Into a bun. Leave a hair down and do twisty buns right here. <laughs> Big yawns. It is late. Midnight. All those crochets, crochets are done. All right, Pays, we're gonna sign off. If Look you guys haven't watched our other videos, you can click them over here. Show Look them where Pays. You can subscribe to our channel by clicking here, and we'll see you next time. Bye.